Hi, I'm Lasagna, and today I have a Yumi Twins box to show you. This is the Yumi Twins box for August. It is currently August, so if you're watching this video and you have, did not get your box, you did not order it, it's too late. However, they do every once in a while do a like, oh, order a past box kind of deal where you can look back and you get the opportunity to order this stuff again. So if you like it, potentially, maybe you will be able to get it in the future, but not right now. Um, I am doing this video later than I usually would because I did not get my box until last week. So I'm going to open it up. This one is the first Yumi Twins box that is 100% Pokemon themed. So I'm very excited about it. I do love Pokemon. Uh, I'm really hoping that I do not get all Pikachu stuff. Every single time I get anything that's like a blind box, it's always a Pikachu. Always, always, always. So hopefully no Pikachu stuff. So we'll see. First looks for you guys. And I don't see a bunch of yellow. Ooh, okay. So far, no Pikachu. Um, Yumi Twins, Konnichiwa. So here's this. Give me just a second here. We always start off with our pamphlet that we get. This is the Pokey Dream Box. So as always, the pamphlet will have some information in there. Oh, this is different. Usually on the first page here, there is a like a big Yumi Twins prize that you automatically get entered to win. But this month, there is a word search that is really different. Um, the pamphlet is going to highlight all of the items here. Um, the item that they gave the most attention to this month is the hand cream. So each package has a unique scent and it is a layered scent that has different distinct fragrances and notes. So we got the Mew hand cream, which I love. Excited about that. And the Mew, the first scent that you get, so the, the first stage is peach and bergamot. I love bergamot. It's actually one of my favorite scents. Uh, after three minutes, you'll start to smell lotus, iris, and rose. And then after five minutes, musk, vanilla, and cedar. And I like the sound of that. So the first item we have in our box and the highlighted item is the hand cream. Let me open it up so you can get a good look at it here. Oh, that's really cute. The little pokeballs on top of the box there. We have, oh, oh, it's very cute on the back too. So we have this tiny hand cream that is scent changing. So that is really good. Let's open it up. Oh, it does smell really good too. I'm excited to see if the, um, the three layers of scent come through while on my skin or not. Okay. That was the first item. And that was the highlighted item. So the next item we have is a Pokemon tissue plushie holder. <laughs> So this is like a little pack. I see a zipper and a string. Oh man, so this is really, really cute. We got Snorlax. Uh, it looks like there were three options. I'll hold it up so I can show you here and uh, you can see it. There's the tag on it. So you have a little bum that unzippers here and that's where you put your tissues in and you pull them off the top here. And then it comes with a holder. So this is really, really cute. <laughs> Excuse me. And I'm very happy that I did not get Pikachu. And it doesn't seem like there's really anything Pikachu themed in this box. So that's great. I'm going to put this aside for now. Give you a better look at the other options for the tissue box. There's that. So we'll continue going on this page. We've got the Pokeball Puzzle Flaker, which we've seen these before in Segway Mart boxes. The first time I got an Eevee, it's up here on my shelf somewhere. And this time we got a Jigglypuff. I am not going to be putting this together. It was surprisingly difficult with the Eevee. I was surprised at how hard it was and how many small pieces there were. I mean, it wasn't, you know, anything too crazy. It is for kids, but it was uh, more difficult than I thought. Um, and then the next thing we have here are the Pokey Pals keychain. So I'm, I'm going to just show you this again. 
it covers our Pokeball puzzle figure and then the keychain. And I'm really excited about this because it is a Clefairy. And I don't have anything that is Clefairy themed. And it does match my laptop case. I have the Berry Forest theme. I'm going to pop this right on the uh, zipper here. Perfect. I love that. I'll show you the different options. Um, I'll put a little image up in the corner of the screen for you so you can get a better look at what our options were for the keychain. I'm very happy with the Clefairy. And then the next items we have here, we already did our hand cream. We have a piece of stationery, we have a pen, and we have a Pikachu plate. So we did get one Pikachu themed thing, but honestly it's adorable and I like it kind of reminds me of like the same material Frisbee is made out of. So we have our Pikachu plate here. If I was going to get one Pikachu themed thing, I'm happy it's this. And I do like the white option here better than the yellow option. So I like them a lot. And the Pikachu is making different faces here. We have sad Pikachu, silly Pikachu, uh, uncomfortable Pikachu, dizzy Pikachu, happy Pikachu. So it's like different emotions of Pikachu on a plate. And then we have this pen, which is also a little Pikachu themed pen where Pikachu has, it says Pikachu number 25. And he has sneakers and cameras on there. So you can't really get a good look at that. The pens are kind of hard to see. I do love stationery. I do love kitchen uh, utensils and equipment. So I am very happy with the Poke Dream box. So, let me see if there's anything else in here worth noting. Um, no, it was just descriptions. Um, like every month with the Yumi Twins box or the photo contest, I did enter it once um, to try to win some Demon Slayer merch, and I actually did win, and I didn't find out until months later because I'm terrible at uh, checking my email. So I did actually win. Um, I'm waiting on the prize now in the mail because it took me so long to get back to them. It's still being shipped. So uh, I'll show you that when I get it. And then I did mention that every month Yumi Twins does a bigger prize. I was also very excited about the Demon Slayer, um, the monthly prize. And I actually purchased one of the items separately because I really wanted it. So when I do get the prize that I won in, I'll show you the item that I purchased from this set as well that I really like. So we'll save that for a different video. And um, really fast before I end the video, I do want to say thank you for, to everyone. Uh, I hit 100 subscribers and I did my first giveaway. Um, I did not post about it uh, on any social media or anything yet. This will be the announcement and then I will follow up with posts. Uh, I didn't want to ruin the surprise, but I did win. Or, I did pick a winner. Uh, it was a, a girl from Instagram and she uh, she accepted the prize graciously and she was very happy about it. So she got her Sanrio Pokemon, or not Pokemon, she's her Sanrio Animal Crossing collaboration cards, um, the Amiibo cards. And I just want to say thank you. That was the first giveaway. There will be many more. I um, haven't decided exactly what sort of giveaway schedule I'm going to have, but I was thinking maybe, just maybe, if I hit 500 subscribers, within a good amount of time uh, I could give away a PS5 considering that getting mine which is right over there was pretty easy for us so um that'll be it making big promises here 500, 500 subscribers maybe a PS5 who knows we'll see um maybe if we can get me there by uh by around the end of this year we'll be able to do that so uh once again just want to say thank you for watching I'm lasagna you can follow me on Instagram at Madame Lasagna underscore. I do have a Twitter. It is the same handle. I do not use it anymore though. I retired it after this first contest. And because I hit 100 subscribers, you can now find me on YouTube at Madame Lasagna. So I'm very excited about that. I'm no longer just a random assortment of numbers and letters on the internet. So uh, thank you. And that'll be it. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.